So I wish I could tell you about all the weapons, but we're gonna have to we're gonna have to wait a little bit. But the ones I'm allowed to talk about. So we have guns, and we have low projectile and 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 big projectile guns. We also have bladed weapons, and we have uh, blunt weapons. Uh, each one will will react. The, the creatures will react differently to that. So for instance. If I shoot with a high caliber weapon, I can blow his arm off or I can explode his head. Something like a shotgun is going to rip the Z apart, probably blow his shoulders off, blow him in half, maybe reveal his intestines or something like that. Um, if I use a blunt weapon, it's going to feel like you've smashed in his skull. If I uh, use a katana, I can cut him, cut him in half vertically, I can cut his head off. If you're slicing half one way, you can come back around with another slash and cut them the other way. Something really awesome about a katana in you know, a game like this, and with our gore system and our melee system mixed together, it makes melee so fun. So it's really hard to explain, but the katana just, you know, when it's cutting through clots, it just feels smooth as butter. You know, cutting heads off, cutting them in half, just ripping them to shreds. Uh, I, I really love doing, doing that. Sound like a sick demented freak. <laughs> So one of the one of the advanced features that we've added that you, that you know it's not necessary to do but but is really cool to get you out of a tight situation. For instance, with the katana, you can actually unsheath your katana, pull it out, and cut the guy's head off as you're equipping the weapon. Uh, so you know, say you're using your pistol, you run out of ammo, creatures running up on you, grab it, whoosh, just cut his head off. It's it's great. Good clean fun. Dead time is a really a core feature in the Killing Floor universe. It's a feature that's very dramatic and exciting, and people really loved it in the first game. Well, it's coming back for Killing Floor 2, and it's better than ever. First off, we've enhanced the visuals of Zed Time. So anytime you go into Zed Time, we desaturate the world of everything except for red. Well, what's red in Killing Floor 2? Blood, gore, the meat system. So all your red and brains and gore and all those pieces. Yeah, let's, I mean, that's what we, that's what you want in Z time is, you know, is the gore, so let's enhance that element of it. We, you know, we can't resist. Blood and gore are one of the cornerstones of Killing Floor, and this time we wanted to take it up a notch and have as much blood and gore in the game as possible. So, the blood never disappears. It always stays in the world, it never goes away. So when you start out a battle, you know, there might not be any blood at all in the environment, but by the, the end of that, that wave, we've wiped everything out, the blood is there. You're, you're battling hordes of creatures in a certain room, and uh, you go away to the trader, and you come back and all that blood and gore is still there. So everything you do to a Zed and damage it, where the blood sprays, it stays there permanently. The amount of just, carnage and destruction that you, the sense that you get from that is pretty amazing. So if you cut a clot's head off and he starts walking, you know, the blood's gonna spray on the ground, it's gonna stay there. If you throw a grenade down and blow up a whole group of guys, it's gonna splatter on the ceilings, the walls, everywhere. So um, the technique basically works as, um, well, you start off with the entire level cloaked with uh, what we call splatter map textures. And at runtime, we detect which uh, texels of the splatter map have been um, hit by blood and poke a color into it. Later on, we apply a tiling mass texture on top of that and treat this as the opacity mass and apply some thresholding and cleanup operations to get the splatter shape. Uh, it's, it's really awesome. And I can't wait to see someone actually play the game and fill the entire world with blood.